And police say the SWAT team was called out after what originally started as a domestic dispute. Police Chief Lawrence Fatiz said when police arrived, they learned the man, later identified as Donald Fulton, had forced his mother and brother out of the house at gunpoint and went back inside and threatened to kill himself with a handgun. The SWAT team was called out and police say a hostage negotiator was able to calm Fulton to the point where he placed his weapon down. As the SWAT team made entry into the residence, uh, Mr. Fulton armed himself fired multiple shots at the SWAT team. Uh, SWAT, one of the SWAT team members returned fire, uh, causing the death of Mr. Donald Fulton. But investigators say Fulton rearmed himself as officers entered the home. When I say he was no longer armed, it can be something as simple that the individual maybe set the, set the weapon down and, and stepped away from it. And then as the officers made entry, you know, he could have rearmed himself that way. Police say one officer did the firing with a handgun. They have not identified the officer, but say for now he's on paid administrative leave. They say no family members or police officers were hurt. There is a body camera footage of the initial response by the patrol officers. Our SWAT team uh, is, is not armed with or not, do not wear a body camera. I went to the home on Wren Street where police say the standoff happened. A man appeared to be inside but did not come to the door. I did talk to a man driving through the neighborhood who said he passed by while the incident was happening last night. I ain't see anything. I just seen the street blocked off and they said it was a squat team and everything down here. Pretty quiet neighborhood? Or? Yeah, it's a really a quiet neighborhood. Nothing like that don't ever happen around here. Now, police say it's still early in their investigation, but they did some checking and found that they answered three calls of that residence dating back to November of last year. Reporting live from police headquarters, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.